So, hello there. My name is Paul Williamson and today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of inner child therapy with Kirsty. And I'd like to just explain a little bit about inner child therapy before we start. So basically, the child that we were when we were little, the consciousness of that is still inside of us and very much alive. And so where that little boy or little girl might have been hurt or fearful or not able to express what he or she felt, then all of that is still within the consciousness of that child that is in you. And also, this child can be helped. So, the child self is not in those situations anymore, but is with you. And what he or she feels is a projection of what happened in the past. So this therapy is designed to help people with their child self. So your child self can express things that maybe are needing to be expressed, can release fears, can somehow form more healthy belief systems that are no longer bound by events that happened in the past. I'm going to do this in a very simple way now with Kirsty, and we'll see how things unfold. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Hello, Kirsty. Hello. Welcome for this session today. Thank you. So, I know that I have never done any inner child work with you previously, so this will be all new for me as I believe it's also new for you, is that yes. correct? Yep. Okay. Now, you were telling me this morning, just a little bit, that you are lacking, a little, lacking in confidence yes. in your life. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, I'm just not very good to be put on the spot. <laughs> just like now. <laughs> just like now. <laughs> and um, I just struggle with certain things. I tend to run away from a lot of stuff mm. um, if I find it too difficult. Okay. Could you just give me one or two examples where you've kind of run away from things? Uh, public speaking, that's a, a big one. Uh -huh. I tend to just avoid that. If I can. All right. <laughs> and, and is there anything else? Uh, job interviews, the usual. All right. Anything where your people are kind of have their attention on you or something like that? Anything that... like that, basically. All right. Good. And can you tell me just a little bit about what your childhood was like for you? Um, it was great. It was holidays all the time. Um, but. My mum and dad were working quite a lot, yes. uh, the two of them. My dad especially, he was always away. Uh, but that's how we went holidays and stuff, okay, whenever so he was there. They worked hard and earned the money so you could have that, yeah. have that break from time to time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And were your parents in any way lacking in confidence in their lives or in themselves? I think they both were to an extent. Uh, how did you experience that? Um, just what they told me. Uh, I think my mum was really shy when she was younger, uh -huh. um, but she she overcame that. That's what she did. Uh -huh. And my dad's just quite a quiet person anyway. Okay. So there's no obvious incident or anything like that from your young life no, that where, where, your, where your confidence would have been shaken, is that right? No, that I can think of, no. All right. Well, what I'm going to do with you in this experience now is to ask your consciousness to go to the root of your lack of confidence, mm -hmm. you know, whatever might be there from your young life, and then we'll see if we can do some things to help you. 
Would that be okay? Yeah, growing. Good. Let's start. So now, I'm going to ask you to go down 10 steps and there'll be a door at the bottom of those steps. And this will take you into a memory from your young life as a child. The memory that you most need to go to, to explore this today. So going down the steps now, down the first step, just going deeper. And the second, the third, and the fourth, just going deeper. The fifth, the sixth, and the seventh, the eighth, the ninth. And now the bottom step. So in front of you there is this door. So this is the door leading to that childhood memory. So if you just describe the door to me, tell me what it's like. I can't really see it. I think it's black. That it would be black, yes. Okay, so you more kind of feel and sense things, don't you? Yeah. All right. So how would you open that door now? Would you need to push it open or pull it open? Push it. So if you push it open now and then take three steps forward, stepping into that memory as a child, So you're in that memory now. That's right. Have you taken those three steps? Yep. All right. So just describe to me where you are there, just at this moment. I'm in a house. All right. So tell me about the house. It's old fashioned. Mm -hmm. All right, so is this a house you know from your young life as a child? I think so. All right, good. So it's a little bit old fashioned, this house. And tell me about the room where you are. It's quite small. Right, cool so fire. There's a fire there, is there? Yep. All right, and what about the the floor there? What is it that the floor is like? Is it wood or stone, carpet? Uh, floorboards, I think. There are floorboards, yes. And as you're there standing on those floorboards, what clothing do you have? Track suit, I think. You've got your track suit on. Good. Do you quite like your track suit? I don't think so. You don't think <laughs> so, no. All right. And are there any other people there with you in the room at the moment? No. So you're by yourself. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. And what are you doing just there in this room by yourself? I don't know. So you're just standing there or are you a little bit bored or you got things to do? No, th no, I don't think I've got anything to do. So you haven't got anything to do. So, 
I'd like to ask you, how old are you there just now? I think. You're four years old. Okay, and you're by yourself? Yep. So where would your parents be? I don't know. They're just not there. And how do you feel being on your own without them? Just allow yourself to connect with your feelings there as a child, more and more fully, the feelings and thoughts you're having there, just let them channel through you, as if you're experiencing them right now, that's right, tell me what that's like for you, with them not Keep thinking I want to go home. Alright, so you keep thinking you're wanting to go home. That's right. So the place where you are is not home? No. So what would you be doing there? Have you been sort of just put there for a while? Or is someone else looking after you? Yeah, I think it's somebody there. Around. There's somebody else around. And the thought that you have is that you want to go home, is that right? Yep. That's right. So if we go forward now to just one of the moments there when this other person is with you. That's right. Is that a, a man or woman or child? Not sure. How does it feel inside you that there would be someone else there looking after you? Uh, kind of lonely. It feels kind of lonely, yes. And just notice, where do you feel that loneliness there in your body? Is it in your chest or your stomach or throat? Stomach. In your stomach, yes. So if you were to breathe into your stomach there, and just allow those feelings just to come more and more to the surface. What would those feelings be saying? That's right, just let that come to the surface now. Even if you feel emotions with that, that's right, just speak aloud what you're feeling there. uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable there, yes. Can you say a little bit more? Is it just that you're not home or you're not with your parents or what is it? Are you not with my parents? Not with your parents, yes. That's right. So just breathe into that now. So, for you, Kirsty, as an adult, if you could speak to your little girl self as she's there in this situation, what would you want to say to her? Don't worry, you'll be all right. That's right. So you'd want to give her some comfort and reassurance, is that right? 
If you could just lift up your hands for a moment, Kirsty. I want to give you this cushion. Just hold it with both hands, if you could. So, if this cushion could just hold the energy of that little girl that you are there, what would you want to do with it? What do you feel she needs? A cuddle. I think she needs a cuddle, doesn't she? Well, just give her a cuddle now. Just breathe with the emotions. Just let the emotions come out. Breathe through your mouth. That's right, that's right. Just breathe. That's right. So is she able to accept your love? Do you feel that she's accepting your love? Yeah. And so just breathe through your mouth. That's right. And how does that feel for you to give her love? Hmm? Confirm. Beautiful. So just be with that now, that's right, just be with the emotions of that, that's right, that's right, so just reassuring her, just breathe through your mouth if you can, that's right, so is she feeling a little bit more at ease? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so it's not possible to change what happened then. But she is not there anymore. She's with you now. And you're looking after her. That's right. Can you experience that? Yeah. Alright, good. So maybe you can just let her know you want to, that you'll care for her and give her love. That's right. Are you able to do that with her? And if you were able to listen to her now, what would she say to you? Does she feel safer now? Yeah. Alright. So if I can just put to you that when maybe you can just release the cushion now and just let your child self come into you. That's right. So if you can just be aware that in situations where you maybe feel a bit nervous, situations which are new and away from your familiar surroundings, it might be actually your child self that is feeling nervous then. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Just like she was feeling nervous then in that place, away from home. Do you understand? Yeah. So, if you're feeling that, when you go into new positions and situations, it might be something that you could do, just to reassure her that you're with her, that you're caring for her. So maybe, you and her together.
can do new things and can dare to do things that you haven't done before. Do you understand? Yep. And how does that feel inside? I'm just still kind of holding her hand. You feel? I feel like I'm just holding her hand at the moment. That's really beautiful. So you can do that, can't you? If you have maybe a job interview or a chance to be in front of others or doing something new. That's maybe just what she needs. She might just need you to hold her hand like you're doing now. Brave, don't you? That's right. Is she willing to be brave if you're holding her hand? Yep. That's beautiful. Are you willing to be brave as well? Yep. That's excellent. So the two of you really belong together, don't you? You're actually one. 